Hello, Geminis. Yes, I'm late, but I'm here nonetheless. All right, guys. So we're going to do a monthly reading. All right. You know, when I was pre-shuffling, the cards, like, I was having a hard time putting these cards together. Um, I feel like there's a lot of stubbornness going on with someone. Could be a Taurus you guys are dealing with, or Scorpio, um, even. It's a fixed energy, I feel, that um, you guys are dealing with. But um, there, there's something that this person's, it's like they're trying not to give in. Somebody's trying not to give in to a situation. Okay, and I feel like they're trying too hard to um, not change their ways, and um, that's that's either gonna cause like this this um, this fallout, this breakup. Um, but it is I feel like you know there's gonna be some sort of separation if that type of behavior continues. Um, there's also. Um, and underlying, I feel like, anger for someone. Okay. Now, let's address these cards that just fell out. We're going to do a Celtic cross, but these three cards fell out. The Seven of Pentacles. Um, investments, I feel, waiting. I'm trying to see if something's going to pay off. Some sort of collaboration. I do feel that there's somebody here that... Um, they may not be showing their real selves in this situation. They may be coming across a little more flirty, lighthearted playfulness. Um, they may be showing that more, but I feel like underneath that is some real serious um, undertones. Okay, so what I'm getting here is that somebody is really trying to make someone believe something and it's not altogether true somebody's putting their best foot forward their representative is what i'm getting okay and um they're interested but i feel like they're more serious than what they are um bringing across to you okay so capricorn taurus um could be a fire energy Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, but I'm feeling more Earth energy here, okay? Let's see. What's currently going on around my Geminis? What's currently going on around my Geminis? The Magician in Reverse. This is the energy that I was talking about, okay? I feel like there is somebody here that is like a trickster. Um, they may not be functioning out of the highest of vibrations. I do feel like this person is not truly being themselves. They are putting on a face for you guys here. Okay. And I'm feeling Taurus energy strongly. Okay. Even though this is Virgo, Gemini, Mercurial energy, I feel like, you know, this is somebody that is putting on like they are, um, very communicative, um, very open, very lighthearted, but they're really not. They may be somewhat, but they're good at like making you, they're good at the illusion. Okay, let's just leave it at that. All right, so what's crossing my Geminis? The Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Okay, so I feel like for this month, there's a challenge for you guys to basically, you know, stay still, not move too fast, not give too much is what I'm getting here, okay? Do not just open up yourselves easily and just, you know, just let things go with this person. I feel like there is like a manipulative undertone here where... Um, this person's trying to get you to open up and it's okay to open up, but don't wear everything on your sleeve. I feel okay. Hold, hold back a little bit. Give them some time to show themselves because, you know, people can't function like that forever. They can only pretend for so long until you see the real them. Okay. All right. Let's see what the underlying issue here is.
this underlying issue this underlying issue the six of pentacles I feel like this person this is Taurus energy I feel like they want something from you I feel like this person wants your time they want to spend time with you they want to be intimate with you um, yeah they want something from you okay and I feel like they'll do whatever they need to do to get that to gain that so yeah <clears throat> the recent past for Gemini's three of wands you've been waiting I feel like on um, what you feel like you deserve okay so this is this is what I'm getting so far okay there's somebody that's really putting their best foot forward for you guys and I feel like they're not truly being themselves they are bringing forth their representative okay um, they do want want to have something with you but I feel like it's not going to um, it's not going to be genuine it's not going to be um, substantial if this person does not really show who they are truly right um, I think that they have a hard time changing up um you know how they think and i think that's that very fixed energy that taurus that scorpio type of energy um and, and it's not going to work out in the end for them or for you guys if this person does not like you know be truthful be honest not only with you but with themselves here um, I don't think that they're trying to be malicious, honestly. I do feel like this person thinks that, um, you know, you guys may offer some things that they've been looking for, they've been waiting for, but um, I don't feel they've truly healed from something and they haven't truly learned certain things. And so they're still kind of functioning out of that lower uh, vibration, okay? But um, I do get that you guys have been waiting on on someone that you feel like is worth your time, that's worth your energy, that's energetic, um, that knows the right things to do and say. Uh, this may be an Aries type energy, Aries Taurus energy, okay, <clears throat> going on here for you guys. Crowning thoughts for Gemini. Crowning thoughts for Gemini. Okay, let's see what that is. Gemini. Uh, the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Four of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking that you guys are thinking like me. You, you're not really trying to open yourself up to be that vulnerable um, and naive to be hurt. Is what I'm getting. Okay? Um, falling back from the Five of Pentacles to the Four of Pentacles. Okay? Keeping things to yourself. Because you're stable right now. And I don't get that you're really trying to like, you know, let someone disrupt what you have going on, like in your mundane life. I feel like you guys are trying to um, incorporate dating into your life, but I feel like right now you're working to uh, be secure, you know, financially. Um, so I think that you kind of sense that this person is not being like forthright, forthcoming. What's coming in for? Gemini's again that's Taurus energy it's coming in for Gemini's Woo, the seven of cups in reverse six of cups hmm I think things are very clear for you um for some of you guys this is Scorpio energy for some of you guys there's someone from your past I feel like that uh that is on your mind that um you may want to reconnect with here but there is a Scorpio Taurus energy strong for you um, in Aries, I feel, because I saw the tower there, and that is um, uh, Mars energy, Scorpio Aries energy. But um, I think that uh, you're, you're seeing things quite clearly, um, and, and you're confident in what you feel. You're confident in what you want. You're confident in what you believe you know so I don't think this is gonna be an issue for you guys <clears throat> how is Gemini feeling about this situation how is Gemini feeling about this alright justice Libra energy you're feeling like 
I mean, you're feeling okay about it. You're feeling like whatever's going on right now, you are not clueless. That um, whatever whatever you feel like you need to do in this situation, you feel like you're capable of doing it. That nobody's going to be able to like really pull something over your eyes. What is the influence here for Gemini? Six of Wands. You know yourself. You're confident. And regardless, with or without this person, you feel like, you know, you will have success in your life. You will have recognition, you know. And if this doesn't work out, then you'll get back out there and start dating again. You know, I, I feel like you know this person and you know what's going on with them and you're really not that phased by it because you know yourselves is what I'm getting here. This is Leo energy here with the Six of Wands. Hopes or fears for... Gemini. Knight of Wands there. Sagittarius energy. So I think that, you know, your hope is that you will be able to continue move forward, even if things don't work out here. You know, just having that preparedness that um, you know, to move on. If this is not everything that is cracked up to be, if this person, you know, turns out to be, you know, a bugaboo or some shit like that. I mean, I don't know, you know, but, you know, you just want to be able to move forward and continue on your path. All right. Let's see. Overall outcome for Gemini's. Overall outcome for Gemini's. Look at that. The tower. The tower. So I feel like there is a shakeup. A breakup, a disconnect that is on the horizon. Um, somebody could definitely be leaving a home, moving. Okay, so if this is somebody that you're already with, maybe there's something that you're seeing in this person now that you didn't see before, that you're not liking, that you feel like, okay, you know, this person's not for me. And you guys are, you know, you're moving on because you realize, you know, there's no stability here. Okay, so... This is what I have for you guys for the month of December. And um, and this is Scorpio energy with the tower. Scorpio Aries energy. I did see it while I was shuffling. Um, but yeah, definitely some kind of shakeup uh, getting ready to happen for you guys in the month of December. But you guys are no longer at a point where you're easily hurt is what I'm getting here. Okay, so I will be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.